Today I'm going to do another easy box from Hack the Box called Shocker. As the name might suggest, this will be vulnerable to Shellshock, which we can easily exploit. Shellshock is a family of vulnerabilities. We need to find which one we can exploit. So, like last time, I've already gone ahead and done an Nmap scan. And as we can see, there are two ports that are open, port 80 and 2222. Port 80 is HTTP, so we can have a look at that site. And it's presenting us with this lovely picture. If we have a look at the source, there's not a lot going on there. So I think that this can be safely ignored. Um, we can run a tool called, called GoBuster which will search for directories on that web server and um, this will hopefully tell us what uh, well, well what's on there so we just simply do go buster dir to search for directories type u or dash u 10 10 10 56 and then we need to give it a word list um, And then we use the common word list. This is quite a small word list, um, but it has what we need in there. We can, um, okay, let that run. And it's found CGI bin here um, with a 403 error. Well, with status code. So if we have a look at the status, 403 is forbidden so we don't so we can't go into that folder as CGI bin forbidden okay so we have the CGI folder we think it's shell shock so let's search the internet there are loads of good articles on this in particular i quite like this one from nullbyte uh it's just worth a read um it just goes into yeah what what was all about and how to exploit it so here he's configuring a target navigate to this particular folder and then create a simple script. In this case, he's used hello world and he's changed the uh, permissions on this as well. He goes to the website and he sees hello world. So here he's using the uh, Metasploit uh, framework and he's using this particular module here. So, but we need to find out what sh file is on this server within the CGI dash bin folder. We could do another go buster looking for extensions or we could do a w fuzz or, uh, to fuzz for this particular file. Um, so we'll use the same common word list and this uses the dash w on HTTP 10 10 10 56 slash CGI. So the keyword fuzz will so fuzz will be replaced with every word within this um, word list, and it will display the output. Okay, so that's showing us a bunch of four hundred fours, which we don't want to see. So this tells us tells WFuzz to ignore the four hundred fours. If we give that a second, in the meantime, I will open up. MSF console. And it's found something called user. So we go to user.sh and this is a file if we were to open it. Um, so this is just telling us the uptime of the server 
which is about 27 minutes which sounds about right um, so this can be ignored if we go to Metasploit and do a search for Shellshock and then the one that we're interested in is this one here because uh, this matches up with the website that we looked at before we set up our R host and we need to set up the target URL so this will be the C, uh, CGI dash bin slash user dot sh and then we can run this and we have a Metopetus session open go to shell who am I? we're logged in as Shelly if we go to we see the Shelly directory and we see the user flag So that is the user. Now we need to um, get root. Um, so can we cd? We can't cd into the root directory. Um, I'm going to stay using this interpreter session for now. Um, you can get a better um, a better shell, but for for this box, I think it's good enough. Um, so one of the first commands you want to do when you try to um, get into root is the sudo dash l. This line tells us we can run Perl with sudo with no password. So if we can run that and escape out of it, we can land into the root shell. One of the best sites to use uh, for resources is uh, GTFO bins. If we have a look for Perl, you'll notice that this here, so you're running Perl and you're executing a shell. And if we put sudo in front of that, it will run as root. Who am I? I'm root. And there's the root flag. And 33, which is to be expected. Now, that's using Metasploit. So if we didn't want to use Metasploit, there is another way. Um, we do have a CVE here, which we can search on the internet for. Let's do that. So yeah, this will give us uh, just a boatload of information here. Yeah, Wikipedia, I recommend reading that. Um, but if we're looking for an exploit, we could just type in exploit DB. And exploit DP has the Apache mod CGI and this is the exploit gives us examples and variables to use so we'll take that and i will paste it into here and i will save it here um, i will call it script dot python it is python yep exit out of that go here because I want to see the how to use it so we need to set up a listening port okay that's easy enough let's exit out of here exit exit 
exit. Okay, I have config turn zero and C dash LVP one, two, three, four. Uh, let's change the mod on this. Okay, so we need to use the pages. Reverse, okay. Payload equals reverse our host equals ten 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 fifty six L host equals that L port equals one two three four and we need the pages which equals slash cgi dash bin user dot sh let's see if this works uh, oh, I don't need to set up that I think it does it automatically Ah, and there we go. And we are Shelly. Again, sudo dash L. Run this command. It's not copying. And there we go. And that is it for Shocker. So yeah, we did it without Metasploit and with Metasploit. Um, I think that is it for now. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching.